in terms of growth opportunities, um, what are the trends that are going to dominate in banking and how do they differ than what we see elsewhere, say in Europe or, or in, in a more developed region? I, th I think the differences are very, very important and, and they're quite fundamental. I think in Europe and the more developed markets, um, the key challenge is keeping costs down. Uh, whereas in Africa, the, the key challenge for us is, is growing. Africa is underbanked, for example. The banking penetration in most of our markets is less than 10%. If you look at the demographics, I think 50% of the population is 20 years or younger. Okay, the economy is one of the fastest growing, some of the fastest growing economies in the world, according to the World Bank statistics. So the, all the story you see in Africa is about growth mm. and taking advantage of that growth, and that's what we're trying to do. And how do you do that? How do you capture this, uh, this generation, many of whom may not have any bank account at all? I mean, are, are, are you, do you take the traditional measures, or in some ways do you hop forward uh, to spaces that, uh, that some of the traditional Western banks are just getting around to? And I'm thinking of mobile banking, for example, which is often talked about as a, as a real frontier in Africa. We do both. I mean, we, we have a 70, 750 branch network because you've got to reach out to the people on the ground. Of course. But we also have a mobile banking platform uh, we work with M-Pesa, we work with MTN, we work with Zane, and we also have internet banking. So our view is make the channels available, apply all the channels, and provide convenient banking to the consumer. Mm -hmm. um, so we see that the younger people are much more comfortable with it. You know, the mobile banking channels, with internet banking, with ATMs and cards. Well, what about the challenges of expanding um, and tapping into that growth potential? What's the biggest challenge as far as you're concerned? I think there's several challenges. One, of course, is that the infrastructure in Africa is still growing. It's not quite there. Um, the issue about power, getting enough electricity into the branches. Many of our branches run on generators, for example. But that's a challenge. Um, it doesn't stop us from providing banking services. Mm -hmm. When you look at the telecommunications, for example, the fiber optics and all that, we don't have that in Africa. We have to use um, VSAT, we have to use uh, other means of, of connecting our branches, but we do that in a way. It, what it does, it does, it increases the cost of providing the service in the short term. But we think we have to make that investment up front and over time the cost should come down. So you have to take a long term view to, the, to, to banking in Africa. What are you seeing in terms of the impact of um, Chinese investment coming into the continent? And, and how are you working along that avenue? We have a very agnostic view. Africa needs capital. Africa needs to grow at an accelerated pace. Whether that capital comes from the east, the west, or the center, quite frankly, if it's good capital and it helps the growth of Africa, then it is something good for Africa. Mm -hmm. um, China has certainly shown a very strong interest, okay, driven perhaps by its own self-interest, in Africa, and that has to be good for Africa. Mm -hmm. What we're here today trying to do is to get more North American and more United States interest in also supporting the growth of Africa. We talked a lot about the opportunities in Africa. What, what is uh, one of your worries or what are one of the challenges that, that keeps you up at night? Um, I, th I think the major challenge we have in Africa is to understand the need to move a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. Uh, that Africa needs to catch up a little bit more, that the rest of the world will not wait for Africa, and the rest of the world does not owe Africa a favor, and that Africa really has to make that extra effort. Mm. So on, on a philosophical level, I think that, that to us is, is a major challenge we have in Africa. Mm. We can go through the minor problems, infrastructure, all of that, but those can be fixed once the bigger problem is solved.